Hi guys, Greg here from Enerdrive. Today we're here to talk about inverters, or specifically our transfer range of inverters. So to start off with, uh, let's go back to the basics. Enerdrive offer three ranges of inverters. Now these include our standalone models, and the reason we call it a standalone type model is DC in, AC out, just fire a plug. We then offer the transfer models, which is our most popular model nowadays, with DC in, the AC out on the end, However, we've also got the ability for AC mains into this and then out. The great benefit of the transfer model inverters is when you do have AC mains, if you're plugged in at a caravan park, for example, the power will go straight through the inverter to the equipment. Therefore, it's much more efficient than running your equipment off an inverter with a battery charger feeding, charging your batteries, as well as feeding the inverter load. So, very popular option nowadays for those that do have AC mains, even the larger canopy systems nowadays uh, where people do have an AC mains inlet on them. The last range we offer is our combi range, which is a built-in inverter charger. These uh, again offer the same functionalities that the transfer inverter does. However, it's also got the built-in charger aspect as well. So nice compact unit that you get the functionalities off an inverter with the bypass there if you've got AC mains, as well as a built-in charger. Um, especially our ePro range of uh, combi inverter chargers has a lot of functionality which is why it's chosen for our Pro Series lithium battery range as well. Great amount of adjustability as well as controls off the Pro Series BMS and all that which we'll talk about in another video. So why do you need an inverter? Or what can an inverter do for you? Essentially what the inverter is there to do is give you those creature comforts of running 240 volt appliances from your battery bank. So some of those appliances can um, be broken down into the key critical items, like your rechargeable batteries for your tools, if you're a tradie, for example, or electric train chainsaws nowadays. Uh, it can also be there for medical equipment, CPAP machines, sterilizers, and all that, that you do require if you are camping, if you've got medical requirements. And then luxury items, debatable whether they're luxury, or I guess everybody's getting used to them nowadays, is air conditioners, air fryers, induction cooktops, hair straighteners, and the list goes on. So again, really all those appliances that can't be run off DC, that's what an inverter is there for to do. So taking your DC battery power, converting it through, normally via high frequency transformers nowadays. A lot of the older inverters are transformer type ones, which are larger and heavier than the newer high frequency technology. Then giving you 240 volt out. So again, key there. A lot of people nowadays don't like carrying around the weight of a generator, don't have to worry about carrying around petrol fuel as well as diesel in their primary car, so no need to carry a generator or jerry cans of fuel just for your generator. Also, great in applications where noise limits are. More and more caravan parks have got noise limits which prevent you from running generators, and also in marine applications as well. A lot of uh, anchorages nowadays, especially national park areas, again, don't allow you to run your generators. So still get the creature comforts of being able to run your 2 fold volt appliances in silent power. Now, however, what are some of the limitations? As with most things, there's limitations and it's always best to know about those before going into specifying or using a system. Because it is taking DC battery power and turning it into AC power, the limitations is your batteries. So there's a few different things there. Nowadays, lithium batteries, for example, our BTEC range is the battery of choice. The reason lithium batteries are the battery of choice is the way the chemistry works in the lithium battery is they're very good at supplying high current loads like those air fryers, induction cooktops, air conditioners as well, for example. Because the chemistry there allows you to do high discharge currents whilst maintaining the voltage. And then right at the end of a lithium battery charge cycle or discharge cycle, it drops off quite quickly. Whereas with a AGM or lead acid battery, okay for maintaining sort of lower constant loads. However, you'll see the voltage tapers off quite quickly. Therefore, as the voltage decreases, the inverter will start drawing more current on the DC side, which therefore also flattens your battery quicker. And you will start getting low voltage alarms and the like. So know your application of what you're going to be using your inverter for. Choose the correct battery capacity for how long you need to run your inverter for, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in the operation of inverter, as well as choose the right battery chemistry there as well to ensure you're getting the most out of it. Um, that covers off really what the inverter is there to do and how it can assist you in your camping requirements and all that. 
And the main thing is they are just becoming ever more popular. It's the must have thing nowadays for camping and caravanning as our air fryers, induction cooktops and the list goes on.